So after doing a dive out at Anacapa Island, we were just making our way to the swim step on our boat, and we saw this little jellyfish floating along right up near the surface. And so we grabbed our cameras and went over to take some shots of him. And he was really neat. It was a really nice bright pink purple, which really contrasted with the blue uh, surrounding water. And the fact that he was up near the surface where we had a lot of light really made him neat to look at. Now, I've never seen one of these before out here off of our coast. Um, so I wasn't really sure too much about what it was, what it does. So I've actually taken some time and tried to, as best I can, identify what this jellyfish is. And the best, I, the best guess that I have is that it's a jellyfish called Pelagia noctiluca. Uh, now, if that's what this is, and I'm pretty sure that's a pretty good guess, um, the Pelagia generally means, you know, living out kind of in deeper water. Um, the Noctiluca is one that's it's particularly interesting. Nocti meaning night, Luca meaning light. So this is a bioluminescent jellyfish, meaning that when it's disturbed at night, it actually gives off a bioluminescent light. So if we had caught this guy at night, we would have some really cool video of him shimmering and, and glowing uh, underwater, which really would have been cool. But that didn't happen, so we have to settle for what we got. Now, as you can see, he's a tiny little guy, and you know, a lot of people might, you know, when they see something that small, they might be tempted to kind of go over there and reach out and touch it, which, you know, the jellyfish obviously don't want to do that. Uh, jellyfish protect themselves with stinging cells in their tentacles that can be very painful. Some of them are more potent than others. When I was reading up on this particular jellyfish, uh, a lot of the reports say that this one does inflict a pretty painful sting, so I'm kind of glad that we were able to keep our distance and not touch touch this jellyfish. Now you can see here, my buddy Robert, he pointed over off in the distance. Now you can see this one, see those long trailing tentacles coming off of it? That's a common thing with a lot of these jellyfish. They'll have a nice tight little body, but they'll have these long trailing tentacles that are very thin and difficult to see. So you really got to exercise caution when you're diving around jellyfish so that you don't get stung. Um, now here, when I was actually diving with this one, as I was looking at it, it looked like it was kind of shimmering, um, kind of unnaturally. Uh, at first I thought it was light coming from the surface, reflecting off of its body, but it wasn't really reflecting off of it the way it should, you know, the way that it should look. You know, when you look in a swimming pool and light reflects off the bottom, it's kind of got a certain pattern. This one was too tight, I, I thought, for the, the waves that happened to be happening at the time. So I think he's actually shooting, shutting off some of that uh, bioluminescence that they're capable of doing. So really kind of neat to see this guy. And you'll see here in this shot uh, coming up, you can actually see the boat and people looking down uh, at us as we're we're filming this jellyfish from down underneath the water. It's a really cool experience seeing something like this. But remember, if you see jellyfish, make sure you exercise plenty of caution. Don't want to have anybody getting stung.